Okay, so we're back here with the control panel. Um, again, this these videos, these sets of videos are not specifically on how to model a control panel, but more so how to use the different tools inside of the editable poly. Uh, just to make that clear, first of all, obviously, uh, if you're creating your own control panel, you'd start off with concept art or references yourself. Um, <clears throat> for the next couple of tutorials, uh, we're going to have a look at, if I just press F4 there to go into wireframe, or sorry, to edge faces. We're just going to clean up a few of these extra polys along here, but the rest of these tutorials mainly are going to be about uh, unwrapping this object as a whole. So the main exercise, the re main reason why we're doing this, uh, doing the whole thing this way is we're creating one object, we're extruding out, doing bridges, bevels, whatever else on top of it using the editable poly. We're creating separate objects like the box here, editing that and the cylinders for these uh, dials here as well. And then we're simply attaching everything, everything together into one object. Now this is vital for this exercise and that's why I want you to do this. That uh, once it's attached into one object then we're going to chuck on a unwrap modifier on top of it and uh, basically go through and we can use flatten mapping and uh, different projections so planar or cylindrical based on the actual shapes of the objects to unwrap this entire model uh, into one texture map. Once we've done that, we can go into CG textures, get some control panels and all that sort of thing, and then uh, start texturing it up in Photoshop. So, okay, a couple more videos here anyway. I'll try to uh, explain everything as I go along as well. Again, all feedback is welcome. Um, if you find the videos helpful, do get onto the site there and let me know about it.